Justice for Julian Assange! Justice for Julian Assange! Justice for Julian Assange! Justice for Julian Assange! Absolutely. Gary Kennedy, you're here today at the ACTU Congress. Have you got something to say? Well, basically, uh, what I'd like to say is that I, I think the ACTU Congress should uh, move a motion of support for WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange from the floor uh, to ensure that Julian is not extradited firstly to Sweden because we're very sure that once he goes to Sweden he'll be extradited to America and once he gets there he'll be treated as a terrorist which is completely unfair because Julian has done nothing illegal. Do you believe he should be treated like any other Australian? Absolutely. In actual fact the government of the day should be insisting that he comes home to Australia so he can be supported and protected over here. As opposed to uh, the Prime Minister of Australia saying that he's done the wrong thing. Sure, the federal police have said he's done nothing wrong. He's done nothing illegal. He's broken no laws at all. All he's actually done is exposed uh, certain governments of the world for the dirty tricks that they play on each other and some of the dirty deeds they've been up to, especially recently in Iraq and Afghanistan. That's vital information that we, as members of the world community, uh, need to have access to and we need to see. But he has done nothing to put in jeopardy one single military personnel at any time in any theater of conflict anywhere in the world. And therefore, he should be treated with respect, not as a criminal. Don't you think even more so since he won the Sydney Peace Prize, the Walkley? Absolutely. The, the, the man is a hero. The man is an absolute hero. He has done nothing wrong other than post information that has been vetted to make sure nobody's at risk. And he's put up on, on the World Wide Net for everybody to have a look at, to download and study. Do you think that there's a lot of misinformation to battle? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, people who are in the union movement, who are articulated and who are political, should understand exactly what's going on. The general job law public, uh, they just hear the words terrorist, they hear the word that he's exposed our military personnel to danger and possible harm, which is wrong, it's totally wrong. That's what the public seems to think. So we need to educate the public that he has done nothing wrong, he's done nothing illegal. In actual fact, he's given us good information to base future votes for governments, future votes for people, future support for actual countries. And he's helped us immensely. Do you believe that he would make a good senator? Oh, absolutely. And that's the next part of the campaign. That basically, while he's uh, not actually been found guilty of any criminal charges, even though he's held in custody, he can still stand for the upper house. And we will ensure that we get the message out there to people to say, this is the sort of politician we want. And a man who's honourable, a man who's articulate, a man who's intelligent, who's got integrity plus. That's the sort of politicians we want, not some of the current crop that we have. Do you think for those precise reasons that people don't want him around, people in power don't want him around, are they frightened of Julian? Absolutely, because he cannot be put into harness. He cannot be corralled. The man has integrity and honour, and he does what he thinks is right for the greater good. So he wouldn't be much of a, a Labour Party or a Liberal Party or a Country Party uh, candidate at all. As an independent senator, he would bring a lot of uh, morality to the upper house uh, of the Australian government. Doesn't that seem to be the spirit of Australia? <laughs> One would think so. One would think so. However, that's not the way it is. I mean, politics now is a, is a fairly robust sort of a game. But we seem to be turning a whole crop of politicians out who are just sycophants to foreign policy of America. And we need to break away from that because Americans will drag us into all sorts of dangers and adventures all around the world which will kill our young men and women. And they'll dump us if, if, if needs be, if someone else comes along that's, uh, that's more of a friend than we are. How would you feel if you were his parents? Well, You've proud, had proud but very, but very, very worried. Yeah. We know full well what will happen to Julian Assange if he's extradited to America. We've had senators, uh, presidential hopefuls, calling for his assassination. Calling for his assassination. The Australian government should be outraged, they should be lodging official protests and they should be protecting this person. We had Mark Abib, who was caught out by WikiLeaks, giving information to his contacts in America. Confidential cabinet information was given to Americans. Instead of the government attacking Mark Abib for what he'd done wrong, which is uh, tantamount to spying on behalf of the Americans, all that was done was Julian Assange was attacked and WikiLeaks was attacked. That's the level of government that we have in this country currently, and we have to try and turn that around to ensure this government does the right thing by the Australian public, but also by Julian Assange and WikiLeaks. It seems to be the case in America that war crimes aren't punished, whistleblowers are. Is that the way it's turning in Australia? Absolutely. Absolutely. We have a person who has done nothing illegal. I can't emphasise that enough. He has done nothing illegal. He did not steal this information. It was given to them. They vetted the information and then they posted it. There is no single person put in jeopardy any of the world. It's embarrassed the British government, it's embarrassed the American government, but it's done nothing to harm any of their military personnel. I don't know if you saw Q&A when Roxon said that he fled Sweden. 
How do you feel when a Prime Minister who is a lawyer says someone has committed a crime? An Attorney General gives false information about the case. Is this just not taking any interest in it at all? I think there's the two things. I think basically they haven't done the research properly. They haven't taken into account that this guy's an Australian citizen should be supported. But it's also this very sycophantic support for anything that America says uh, at the moment. Even the Labour, current Labour government is very sycophantic towards uh, the American foreign policy and American policy. Uh, now they've been, had the evidence presented to them that he has committed nothing illegal, they should have retracted those statements. However, they've done nothing to recant those statements or that misinformation. It's up to us to educate the public to make sure this issue stays in the forefront, to make sure that people get the facts and not the fiction, and we bring Julian home to Australia so we can support him properly in Australia. Stop bowing to Obama, Gillard. Stand up for Assad.